Man, you come straight out of a cone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. I am the Anomaly Will Farrow. I have a slew of guests today. Check off my word of the day to use. Slew. Got through that one. Yes. Uh, today, oh yes, I have some guests. Appreciate that. Have some guests with me today. I'm going to uh, start off with the lady with the ears first. Let her introduce herself. I'm going to unmute somebody who's muted. And hopefully when she come back in <laughs> class, she won't be so rambunctious until after we start. After we start, you can be as rambunctious as you want. Let's just get through the white portion first and get the introductions out the way. Camera's being weird again. <laughs> right, right at the buzzer. So no, like, this it was fun. Oh no, it started. It was fine for like three hours of us talking on Zoom, and then as soon as started GoFundMe for just a new laptop, please. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Uh, well, we will start off with Miss uh, Deer and the and the, the carrots sorry. and roses. Go sorry, ahead and start sorry, off. Sorry, Deer. That was disrespectful. He's a reindeer. Um, <laughs> what am I doing? Introducing myself. Okay, I am Roxy Hayes. I'm a stand-up comedian and cosplayer and Disney fanatic as you can tell um i'm on everything as roxy hayes or X X Y H A Z E. oh yeah i got a lion king tattoo boom i love disney nice that's yes, why i'm glad you. to have you here today thank you. uh of course my guy with the hey arnold background just looking over there dope as heck please introduce yourself what up what it is what it do this is marco the artist better known as masterminds connect What's good, everyone? Ready yeah. to have some fun. Let's go. Let's do this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And of course, you know, someone mentioned Disney fanatic, but uh, you know, in my eyes, it's only a few faces to the Disney uh roster of people that you go for for information here. And I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Go by the name of Cleo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Live. As you can currently see, I'm in uh Beast's library. Uh Belle found herself in the erotic section not too long ago. It was Roxy Hayes' fault. Whoa. Roxy told Belle that, yo, when you go there, go behind the corridor on the right. What a good stuff is. Interesting fiction on that side. It was Roxy that started that. Now I Belle don't want to put no clothes on. Belle I did just read some Beauty and the Beast, uh, yeah. Rocka, just, by the she way. She just wear that white apron now, <laughs> not even the blue dress. Just, you ain't going to finish getting it's, dressed? No. It's out. Nope. Out, it's man. my house now. She walk around. Push out. Wouldn't you? Oh. Why wouldn't you? You just got a castle out of nowhere. Yeah, you walking out. New. I, I understand, Roxy. I mean, hey, you know, both of y'all up in there kidnapped, so I understand. Do y'all. Why am I in there? No, I went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just went up there. I went like, willingly. The yeah, she was like, is the beast, is <laughs> the the beast, beast here? Sexy. Yes, like, what's up with it? You don't want to see me. Yes, I do. Yes, what's I up do. with it? What is up with it? <laughs> no, I Speaking of, <laughs> <laughs> I do be, I love your work, by the way, Mr. Marco, sir. I stay Thank looking you. at your work and leaving thirsty comments under the very attractive yeah, Disney characters that you draw. He yeah, turned Mufasa into oh, a, a zaddy. Symbol. Look, mm -hmm. look, Marco, look what you caused, he bro. He could get it, all of it. He already could have got it. But the whole aesthetic, he could get it even more. You at, turned first, it at first, I didn't mean it. At first, I didn't mean it. But then I was like, all right. I Marco, you a, you lie. You knew what you was doing as soon as you finished drawing them shoes. You was like, oh, I'm finna kill him. I'm, <laughs> finna, I'm finna kill him. Your content is made for perverts like me. Thank I'm about you. to give him to Stacey Adams and it's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's over. Uh, it's over. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. But yeah, so um, also we're supposed to have Sly Cooper in today. Uh, as you can see, she's having some technical difficulties. So we're going to try to see if we can get her back. But we're going to go ahead and get this ball rolling. Uh, Let's do it. And whatnot. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have always had the theory of that. Um, if you've seen uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, that characters seem like they could possibly be actors. Like, if you remember Baby Herbert from... Uh, who Frank Roger Rabbit, it showed the very different transparencies of these characters being this cute, adorable little kid running through a background like you see from mine to becoming this grown ass dude who drinks 
fucking brown liquor, smoke cigars, and is somehow tagging women. I don't know how I didn't want have to get some into fun thing on the ass. I fine remember. thing, real things at that too. Real Is that pedophilia because he was a baby though? No, he was a old. Oh, guy. He was a grown man. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, Still nasty. Yeah, it is. I mean, it is. so whatever they were doing <laughs> behind the sheets, that's on them. But it is those type of that type of thinking, Roxy that we want to get into today. We, I have decided to come with some of our favorite Disney characters and have us figure out what do they do after they yell cut on some of these iconic movies and shows that we have seen them in. And with the help of Mastermind Connects, we are using some of his phenomenal Mm -hmm. artwork today to show Mm -hmm. and discuss these. So um, it is a big lineup too. Like I really didn't know who to start with (laughs) from what he sent me, but I'm gonna just go ahead and get into like just the major one and go ahead and let's see Cleo's face light up. We're going (laughs) into a goofy movie. Yeah. A goofy movie. We got Rock, we got Roxanne, we got Powerline and we got Max. So Cleo, since this is your favorite one, who would you like to start off with? Let's start off with Roxanne. Okay. Roxanne, man. Roxanne. Now, uh, Marco, this is this is one of your drawings as well. So um, I've noticed that sure. you called them hoop troop. Could you just give us a little bit more detail on what was your inspiration behind the basketball thing for them? All right. So it first started off with, uh, you know, just to play on words, Air Max, Air Max. You know, Max Goof. And I was like, you know what? Like Air, Air Jordan. You know, let's. Let's throw him with a let's throw him with a, a kind of Michael Jordan kind of pose, and then I was like, you know what? What if what if a bunch of them? What if a bunch of them were just hoopers? Like everyone loves basketball. Everyone loves, you know, the style that goes into basketball. Let's let's throw it on Roxy, see how she looked like. And then of course the number one favorite power line, the most underrated, Spons. underdeveloped Disney character ever created. Facts ever created. Um, so. Hoop, um, Goop, Hoop Troop is a play on Goof Troop, which was the show that they appeared on. So it just fit in all together. I like playing with words. Hey man, this was a great play on the words. I love this rendition because you like, just in my opinion, since we're starting off with uh, with Roxanne, you really made it seem like that's what she would have grown up into. Like the little Hooper, the sports running through like all the uh you know the athletic programs up in high school and everything oh um, yep what did she make it to college though like what y'all think did she did she go college did she switch up she went to college she for sure went to college and she went to uh, obviously she a went to college place. max you know max ended up going to college with his dad yeah if you've seen the extremely goofy movie uh max got more into x game style sports but i would have preferred no lie I would have preferred the second Goofy movie to be like this. No lie, bro. Let oh, yeah. Max play ball. Let Roxanne play ball. Give us a, a different version of what Love and Basketball could be in an animated way. Run that, bro. I don't know who could have brought Roxanne to life if we did a live action version. I'm not saying that, but an animated Ooh. version just like this, I would have loved to see it. That's that's a hard one. I ain't gonna lie. Like that's one of those you kind of just keep keep. Let's keep her like this for right now. Right here. I, I don't want no, I don't need no one take need having that burden on their shoulders. Cause like, first of all, I, I don't know if it's just me. But I would like this was put out before, but uh, obviously these people are black. So we if we just throwing it out there. I, right? If we just letting people know. Like they they black. Yeah. So I don't Ah I, yeah, let's just keep her as a cartoon right now. But cartoon. we can't so after college, what did y'all see Roxanne doing? Like, let's get let's get into her now. Like, Roxanne is probably what, maybe in her thirties by now, mm-hmm. and what not? Yeah. So uh, Roxanne at thirty, what is Roxanne doing right now? Is she? Is I definitely she... don't think that her and Max stay together. No. Nah. Like, like they definitely broke. Like nah. they went to different. Co- like if we're gonna keep like they play basketball, they definitely went to different colleges. She found somebody else. He did some whatever stuff and they went on about their business. I don't see them being together. Cause like, they're a really cute couple, but they're not really like a good couple. They weren't a good How couple. How so? How they so? Weren't a, they weren't like that. Well, she did not pay attention did. to him at all until he was singing on stage. 
So she basically ignored him. She didn't really know him. You know what I mean? They talked like a couple times in the movie. They talked like in the principal's office. And then they talked when he was telling her he was going to the concert where they go at the same time. And then when he came back from the concert. So they never really established an actual relationship and the personalities are really different. I don't see them as being compatible at all. She's way more attractive than him. Not to say that matters, but it does. Let's be real. I mean, I he got stupid face. He got if stupid I face and he doesn't have money. So you can't have stupid face and not have money. You either gonna have stupid face or you're gonna have money. So Damn. I don't see them staying together. He was kind of not even good at the X Games. Um, I feel like he just he went on. Bradley upper crust the third. <laughs> So you telling and he me like cheat though? Like let's. There was so you telling me Max 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 follow like his dad got a regular yeah, family now. Regular family, like a, but but like I feel like he fell in love with somebody else. Like he met somebody that really loved him for him, not him being power line, and she found somebody that loved her as well. Stacy, okay. he went back and hit the best friend. Stacey. He went back and got Stacy. They weren't yep. compatible either because he's stupid. She wouldn't have wanted him. Max is not really an intelligent know. person. She for money? When did Max, when did Max, we're saying that Max, if Max grew up, Max definitely did not have money because he's not a super ambitious person. Like I mean, but he wasn't broke, broke though. Like they weren't He wasn't broke. good. Stacy was extremely intelligent. She's not gonna go with the stupid goofy kid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You never no. know because hey, I know. Yeah, you you're not gonna keep playing my boy Max like that. I'm gonna I tell love you that. Right. Okay. You yeah. <laughs> I love Max, but if we're if we're in this realm and this is the life that they started, there's no way that they would have been together. I would have wanted them to. Marco, nah, he had a he nah, had a bro. plan. He I'm had trash. a plan. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the one bad thing about Max. He's a liar. He's a habitual Max is liar. A liar. Damn. But but. Roxy, Roxanne, yeah. she liked Max before the performance. Max was just too self-conscious to realize it. He was like, oh, she can never like me. I got to do something big. So he was ambitious. He has to lie. He put, he put on a whole show mm -hmm. just to impress. What girl doesn't want a dude to be committed to put on a whole show just to impress you? And, let, and, 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 and just <laughs> to add to that, just to add to that, Y'all called him a liar, but let's call him an opportunist because he did what he said he was gonna do. Thank you. He's okay. spoken into existence. Which Tell is him, cool, Cleo. but he lied to his father. The one person who loves him more than anything. Max is not a good person. Right. And really? Right, right. Right on to guess. Right. Max you ain't, is a you ain't never liar. Lied, you ain't never lied to your parents? I don't lie. No. You ain't never lied to your parents. No, I have no reason to. Your child has never lied to you? No, she has no reason to. Okay, so you, you keep saying that till it sound as stupid as it sound to us, and I'm asking well, real people is, here. She doesn't seem like she would like a liar once they're out of high school and she realizes like, hey, he's not really about shit. She's gonna be a lot about shit. Time. She gonna be on the basketball team at college and get lied to by that nigga. And then when she out of college, she gonna get lied to by the next nigga. So, so, but, so we both are in agreement that there will be other men after Max. That's all yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, but you can't call Ooh, Max no old, I, but no, I did, though. no hoe out here. Like, he ain't I, nothing. Like, oh, Max ain't come for money. Liar. He wasn't checking for nothing. I, I said he was a habitual liar who was broke, and she could do better, and she did. How you broke as a kid? <laughs> in college. <laughs> we seen the college, and he wasn't even studying He's or nothing. He was a bum, bro. Max is a bum. He's in college. See me on the okay. Head. So, 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 there's, there's Bobby level of broke and a bum. Wait, but was Bobby broke though? Bobby, I'm gonna assume was, was broke. He liked cheese so much, the canned cheese. That's so true. you can't come from money if you, if you like canned cheese like that. Cause I never even used canned cheese before. I had canned cheese once and threw up. I was like, well, this ain't cheese. <laughs> It don't hit at all. Like it's they, very nasty. Disney did an incredible job of making that look delicious and look like the thing right. to do, but it's not the thing right. to do. Trust it's me. It's because you've convinced yourself already this is not cheese, and when you taste, it's like, yep, this is not cheese. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Cool, it came out, but this is not for me, sir. Let me let me throw let me throw something else in the mix. What's the age difference between Caroline and Max and Roxanne them? and Max? Man, I, I'm, I'm going to go five years. I'm like, but that's max. Like, I'm going five years max. Five? They were, 
What grade were, were they? they in? Were they gra- were they graduating high school? No, uh-uh, they were they, like 14, like, 15. Mm. But I, I still say like Powerline was juniors? young though. I want to say Powerline. Powerline was, was in his, gotta Powerline be in his 20s. Like, not, he could be like 19. Early like 20s. A, like a, like a Omarion, Bobby Brownish kind of age. He wasn't I, checking for Roxanne. I did. After she got in high school Roxanne. though. Not until she got in high school. After, after she got, got after she got out of high school, who knows, yo? Man, listen, nah, if there's one thing I don't <laughs> power line tagging okay. Roxanne. She ain't never coming back from that. She just said, fuck basketball. I'm about to be on my IG getting it in. I'm showing these thick ass thighs off. I'm in, bro. Power yeah. line tr- tricking off. Power line was fine. It's he looked like he got that beat too. So. But see that now we didn't get to him. So where is power line now? So let's let me we gotta think about it like this. Powerline got two hits. We didn't get no album. Um, so where does that leave Powerline? I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that direction. That's but that's the direction we got, like you said. But we ain't never heard from him ever again. We don't know that because if he's based off of Bobby Brown, Prince, and Michael Jackson mashup, then that's just they had continuous success. Even. Well, yeah. I'm gonna put that into his origin story. Yeah, but there ain't no evidence of him making no more music. I would like to believe that Powerline was Mickey Mouse's favorite artist and he was like, yo, that nigga good forever. <laughs> he yeah. just gotta take care of like Memphis Blue. <laughs> whatever he need, bro. Yo. Whatever he need, whatever he needs, handle. <laughs> Cause people he's still, still talk residuals. about it. Yeah, so he's still getting his residuals at least. I would hey. say he transitioned into something else. So what do y'all think Powerline transitioned into? Songwriter. He's songwriter. A songwriter. He's an A&R for a label, and he helped write some of the other Disney records that went out there. Ooh. Okay. Okay. But Marco, what about you? What you think? Um, let's see. Oh, you you know there was a standout tour, right? Yeah. But, I mean, I didn't get tickets. I don't know if you got tickets, but I didn't get no tickets. Sold out when so, I tried to get uh, he, he might have been scamming people, yo. Young. Is he that too bad? Like, let's mm-hmm. think about it. If he's young, he could have had the spiral. We, we, we trying to put it into uh-huh. a good type of thing. But again, we never heard from him again. So it's like, yo, could we have like <laughs> an E True Hollywood story on Powerline? It's like, <laughs> what if Fire Fast Billy Vanilli? No, don't what do if that. He was, what if he was all performance? What if he was all show and flash and bang? But him as an artist really wasn't that, and he got exposed. And we but even heard. with that, he can still be a choreographer and make I a agree. lot of money, and he's fine, so he's okay. He'll be fine. I don't know, man. I think I think Powerline might have. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. Hey, man. I don't know, man. Like no, no. it's just two. He only had two records, man. No. Now he just over in Germany, like hey, yo, like, you. I don't like this. <laughs> I mean, look, it's just the evidence that's there. It's the evidence. Like, we didn't, again, he had the hairstyle no one else had. I know he ain't got that no more. So it's like, yo, I think, I feel like, I feel like Powerline trying to make that comeback and don't nobody want to give him a chance. Like, he like, yo, man, I just got one more standout tour in me, man. No, don't, don't make him cracky. <laughs> Why <are you> cracky? <laughs> he he just like, Why you know, make him cracky? <laughs> that was a cracky voice. <laughs> Come on, man, let me get two more songs. No, don't do that to him. Don't do that to him. First of all, he's a muscular, attractive man who had hit singles. He never has to do anything again, because you got to think this was in the 90s when you can make two albums and just continue to live off those albums. Those albums were probably in movie soundtracks. Those albums were used again, maybe in commercials. What albums did have? Those were two, because you remember they used to bring out singles, so those could have been two different albums you remember when they used to like put a song but it would be and they would have it as a cd so it would be like the Mm -hmm. song and then the remix i bet he did that because he had a whole you i think he went on a whole tour with those two songs so the fact that he was able to go on a whole tour which we saw in the movie so we know that that tour was real I don't, and he can still be living off that. That, with, and which, still doing good. that could be true. That could be true, Roxy, but also goes along the fact of you had all that and nothing else happened, which makes me think he he messed up and they took it all away from him. He's still getting paid, but he messed up. He's fine. Just like, a, hey, just like a fine brother that got everything and everything coming to him, 
What's the most likely thing he do? Meet a white girl and throw it all away. Oh, no. That's what happened to Power Life. No, uh-uh. He had no white women around him at the concert. Let's let's go ahead and stop this right now. I think we can all agree that Power Line <laughs> would not have lost it all. Thank you. A white woman. Thank Let's you. stop that y'all, conversation. Y'all think, y'all yeah. think this is going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was body positive. Come on, stop playing with the man. He had body. that big chick. He was. Come on, he had that he big was. chick singing. Oh, don't play with, don't play power line. That was at night. Look, 19. I'm, I'm, t- I'm, <laughs> nah, I'm, bro, don't play with me. <laughs> I'm giving you, I'm just like, yo, at 30 now, where y'all see this man at? Like, mm-hmm. like I agree with what Cleo said. He's A and R somewhere. He's making the money. He's songwriting. He's living. All, those were two dope ass songs. He could still continue to live off them. That nigga. Let me throw power line in the suit next. Yes, Powerline please, please put him in a suit. Yeah, but like had a had a muscle still be popping though. Man, power line is on a reality show. Stop That's playing, bad. nah, bro. Come on, chill, <laughs> chill. That's Chill. what power line is on. Chill. Nah, Chill. okay, okay. You I'm gonna get my final scenario. You know, you know what power line is doing? Y'all want me to be real? No. I'm gonna be real. Yeah. You know what power line if it, if I had to give power line's final answer. Power line is Cleo. Me. <laughs> That's what I picture. Hey. I picture power line was hey. like, you know what? That's cool. The music, I did that. I'm gonna move into something else. Start on that and keep adapting. Cause let's say again, his I mean, name he is, is playing still basketball. being said today. So I, I figured, okay. like, hey, that's he better adapted. than that crackhead scenario you tried to give him. So <laughs> you gotta I'll give both. That. You gotta give both sides, Roxy. We can't all be happy, Dory, cause it's Disney. We gotta see the dark side too, man. Y'all ain't even say that about Roxanne old college years when she started experiment with women. I mean, she might have got pregnant. I mean, I definitely could see her being uh, bisexual or at least like. You know what I'm saying? Like we gotta that. keep it real. But that's not a negative thing. She just likes vagina. I'm just saying, it's, it, it, it's we got to find all shades of the spectrum. Is there okay. any chance that Rox, that Roxanne went back and tried to holler at the chick who tried to holler at Max after the performance? Oh, they would be cute. I love with her. That, with, that, with, the, uh, with the thing with the around her waist. Top, yeah, be that would be, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be that'd a really, be really nice cute fit. couple. OK, I want that. That's what happened. So Max got married and had like several kids, and he's like living. And his dad comes over with his new wife, and Roxanne is married to the chick, and they like travel. And I feel like they got like some kind of blog or something. And then Powerline. You got an OnlyFans, stop. <laughs> no, don't come, come on. You don't have to be nude Roxanne on OnlyFans. Roxanne got OnlyFans? You don't have to be nude on OnlyFans, though. <laughs> We're not ruining be. our childhood like this. We're not doing this. They got a blog. I'll take a travel blog. I like Yeah, it. why are you playing? I'll, I'll <laughs> Marco say, mm-mm, I don't like that. <laughs> and then Powerline is just doing what he wants to do in travel. I feel like you think him and Max are still cool? You think they got cool after that? Yeah, if we're taking real life like circumstances, like there's no way Powerline was ever okay with these people bum rushing That's his also true. No. He sued him immediately afterwards. <laughs> right. Like security tackled both of them. Out of here. Out of here. Did that man die? I think he died. The security oh, that guard, they got electrocuted. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nah, I think, he oh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> nah, I think he got oh, saved. They murdered? Got, that's, <gasps> that's why we never heard of anything about Powerline or the concert. The tour never happened. Because niggas died. Mickey Mouse was there. He had to shut everything oh, down. I like no Nobody. nobody yeah, so that's how I will never be seen or heard from again. Mickey was there. He was like, I'm embarrassed. That's it. Someone died. <laughs> Two people <laughs> bum rushed the stage. I like that. <laughs> I like that. So, <laughs> so we'll combine that one. So that's what happened. He had to get. He had. He was done with power line, and then he just adapted to the times. Uh, as okay. Roxy has mentioned, uh, Max is. Kind of following the steps of his dad, found a nice girl, settled down, got his own little goof troop now, you know? And Roxanne out here, you know, uh, lesbian, traveling, doing Bisexual. Oh, bisexual, excuse me. Or maybe pansexual. I don't know what that is. I'm, That's I'm when still, you. I'm still okay. researching. Okay. I'm still. I still. Yeah, I got my my exam. Regardless of gender, so she awesome. Who brought that to the table? And let's not just make Roxanne the fact that she may be pansexual because she has a basketball in her hand. No, no, it's not that. It's just her whole vibe. And her and Stacy was kind of eyeing each other 
at you know mm -hmm. they had some vibes at the party so mm -hmm. that's where i got it from i like it <laughs> all right then um, there it is we now have a flushed out story of what happened and power line could get it the goof troop uh, the hoop troop or of course the goofy movie